exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. I feel like this video needs to be talked about. This this topic needs to be talked about. So this video was initially going to be about Odell Beckham Jr. signing with his new team. Because as you guys know, Odell is uh, a free agent now. He cleared waivers. He's a free agent. I was going to do a big reaction of... Odell signing with whatever team it be, whether it be my Patriots or whether it be the Seahawks or uh, the Packers or whoever else is, in, is interested in him. But as of recording this video, I have not seen him signing. It's going to be real awkward if this video goes up and then like two minutes later or a minute before it goes up or something like that, it's a half hour before it goes up, he signs somewhere. That's going to be really awkward. I meant to put out two videos then. Um, but since as of recording this, he has not signed anywhere. We are going to be talking about something that happened on Monday Night Football that has been going on all season, has been going on for a couple seasons now, a, long, a, a lot of seasons at this point, and that is NFL officiating. Now, I know you guys all know where I'm going with this, um, so let's just dive right in. So, on Monday night, the officiating for the NFL, for the Steelers and the Bears, was... How do I put this gently? It was awful. <laughs> I could I could say some other things about it, but we're just going to go with awful. It was embarrassing. So to give a couple examples, there was a touchdown thrown by Justin Fields uh, that was called back. A game-altering touchdown. These aren't just penalties that ah uh, yada 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 like holding calls roughing the pass like these aren't those kind of calls that happen every game that people get upset about no these are game these are calls that impacted the actual outcome of the game so first example Justin Fields throws a touchdown pass um it's called back because of illegal contact apparently one of the Bears offensive linemen I think his name is James Daniels I think he plays guard uh for the Bears he supposedly had illegal contact with TJ Watt. But if you look back at the replay, it appears from everybody that has seen the video or seen the pictures or watched it on TV on Monday night, it appears that they don't even make contact with each other. It, it, it seems like that there's space in between TJ Watt and the offense lineman in question. So for them to call a touchdown back because of illegal contact that in theory never really happened, but the referees didn't get challenged for it, they didn't get any blowback for it until after the game, and this, this touchdown call that was called back fundamentally changed the game, the outcome. That's the first example. The second example is the head referee the one in the white hat, he's the head referee, he made some very weird decisions on Monday night. So Cassius Marsh plays for the Bears. I personally didn't even realize Cassius Marsh was still in the NFL, <laughs> but he plays for the Bears. Um, he sacked Ben Roethlisberger on a huge play. The, the Steelers were driving, they were getting into field goal range or even scoring range and Cassius March comes up with a big sack he does his whole celebration where he does the the weird like karate spinning leg kick and stuff it's super cool you got to go watch the clip it's the 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 celebration is super cool and then he turns around he stares at the sideline like he doesn't he doesn't stare stare at the sideline like he's intimidating he just looks at the sideline he doesn't say a word and then he turns around and goes to the sideline, uh, his his team sideline. And then before that happens, before he makes it to his his own sideline, 
the head referee is standing there and kind of like hip checks Cassius March and then throws a flag for contacting a referee. And he throws the flag in a, such a way that he fully intended for this situation to happen. And it just so happened that Cassius Mars was the unlucky man to be involved in it. And this was really where Twitter blew up. People were calling for this man's job. People were calling for this man to be suspended, fired, fined, everything. Throw the book at this referee. He took it upon himself. He called a taunting penalty, by, taunting, taunting penalty, by the way, on the... Uh, on Cassius Mars when he stared at the sideline. Stared at the sideline. Because it's like intimidating, I guess. So we can have a whole other discussion. I've already had other discussions on what I think of the taunting penalties so far in the NFL. You can go back and find that on the channel. But this whole situation with the head referee has gone completely overboard. Not, not overboard in a bad way. It's gone overboard in a good way. Because... Finally, for some reason, these referees have decided to take it upon themselves to alter games. And that's not a good thing. So now, people are finally starting to revolt against these referees. There's no union in the NFL for referees. Not like the MLB umpires, who can never be fired. They have lifetime contracts. That's not a thing in the NFL. So, I don't know why... There's a reservation to hold these referees accountable for bad calls and mistakes they make. They cost Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears a win on Monday night. The Bears were going to win this game. But the, the referees, who a lot of people have been making like memes and, and little jokes about how the, the Steelers MVP of the night was the referee, and then they put him in like a yellow and black referee outfit or something. Like, like they've been making these jokes. And it... The, the, the jokes are true because these referees take it upon themselves to make them the star of the show. Nobody comes to see the referee. Nobody buys a ticket to an NFL game to be like, oh, I can't wait to see the referees make an awesome call, a game-winning call. No, nobody does that. And if you do, you're, you need to be um, signed into a mental institution because if you're going to an NFL game to watch the referees, you either want to become a referee or you are insane. Those are the only two options. So the referees need to, and it's the same in the NBA. It's not as bad in the NBA, but it's the same in the NBA and it's the same in the, in major league baseball. The, the officials make the game about themselves. The officials should be non factors. They should be Obli not oblivious, they should be invisible to the game. They shouldn't be the reason a team won. They shouldn't be the reason a team lost. And on Monday night, the referees were the reason the Bears lost. They had outrageous calls. There was plenty more than the two examples that I gave you, but those are two of the ones that stood out to me the most that I wanted to talk about. And it's just, it was just the worst officiating that I have seen from an NFL crew, maybe in my life, watching football, and I've been watching football for a long time, it may be the worst. It was atrocious. It was unethical. It was outrageous. Like, the, the amount of hate that these referees came under is well warranted, but it's just immense because of these bad calls that they make and they continue to make without being held accountable for their mistakes and for their actions. And after the game, the head referee had unbelievably stupid responses to these questions. He got asked these, these questions. You can go look it up. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there about the referee answering these questions. I saw some of the, the things that he said. He, he basically just regurgitated the, the rules which don't make any sense because of the question that was asked. So he did, He knows that he messed up. He just didn't want to take accountability for it because he's scared of the repercussions that would come with taking accountability for what kind of outrageous calls he made and the rest of the crew made on Monday night. So it's just the NFL has a serious problem 
with referees making bad calls week in, week out, game in, game out that affect the outcomes of the games, and that should never be the case. The referees should you should never even think that a referee is even on the field. You shouldn't even notice them because that's how it, unimpactful they are to, towards the outcome of the game or towards the game at all. So I just need needed to get that out there. These referees in the NFL and in other sports need to be held they need to be held accountable for their actions. They need to be suspended. They need to be fired. They need to make, be made an example of because if if not, then it's just going to keep going on. And I know that it's never going to happen because the NFL makes billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. And Roger Goodell takes home $60 million a year and he's fine. He doesn't care. Um, and we're still going to give them our money. We're still going to give them our paychecks and we're still going to buy jerseys and buy tickets and buy concessions and buy all this stuff by the packages on TV and stuff. We're still going to do all that because we love football. So it's never going to change, but it's just so frustrating that it will never change if you understand. So I just need to vent that out there. I am very upset with these referees not taking accountability for, for themselves because I feel like they should, and there should be actions or there should be repercussions for their actions. But let me know down below what you guys thought, uh, what you guys think of the referees not being accountable held accountable for their for their actions and for their mistakes that's gonna do it for me though thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching make sure to smash that like button hit notification bell and the subscription bell join the juice club catch you guys in the next one peace